I'm like trying to leave the door. All right. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Here we are for Set Real Talk Tuesday, and I have the honor of being joined by Miss Jessica Trufant. She hey. is a mother, a wife, a mompreneur with her blog. You guys have absolutely got to check out fab5mom.com. And um, we're going to have some real talk, and we're glad you guys joined us. And this edition of Set Real Talk Tuesday is brought to you by Edward Jones, Mr. Sean Johnson. So, Jessica, welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. I'm honored. Oh, for sure. So, you posted um, in your, on your blog, your post was about, um, it's called Say My Name. And I read this post. And was like, oh my gosh, you are speaking to me. And I saw the responses after you posted. And it was like so many people could relate. And so I wanted to have you on just to talk a little bit, you know, about your experience. You are married to a veteran all-pro cornerback, formerly of the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. And <laughs> your post, uh, tell us a little bit about that post for our viewers. Um. Um, say my name, say my name is just about feeling like the irrelevant NFL wife, feeling like when I am with my husband and when he's out and about and he's meeting people or even we're invited to events together, um, that I am looked over, um, that I am ignored, that I'm invisible. And so I, this was on my heart and I decided to write about it. And just put it out there that I am an individual, a unique individual, and that um, you need to know my name and you need to say my name or at least attempt to say my name or get to know me on some kind of level because I am in this right with my husband too. Absolutely. So for our viewers, you know, you uh, may be married to a professional athlete or you might be, you know, married to someone that is high profile, or you might be married to someone that you stand beside and you support and you know you are the backbone and, and a, a vital part of the relationship. And it all matters, you know, when you wanna be made to feel like your contribution is important. And that was what, you know, I got out of this post. And, and I really urge you guys to go to fab5mom.com and check out her post. Uh, you know, as I'm reading your blog, tell me what inspired you to start this blog. Um, well, I'm on, I've been on Facebook for years and I'm always on Facebook telling some type of story. Funny and stories, I might add, guys. Conversations stories. with her kids and her husband. Hilarious. Oh my, God. It, it's nonstop over here. It's nonstop entertainment. So anyways, somebody was like, a, many people were like, you need to start a blog. You need to start a blog. And you know, at the time I was in between having all my 25 kids and I just, I was scared. I was scared to actually try it. And one day I just was like, I'm going to do it. And I got together with some people and they helped me put together my website. And I literally took a leap of faith and started this blog and just journaling really what was on my heart stuff at the thoughts at the time all that kind of stuff and um here i am today and it's awesome and it's yeah. entertaining thank you and one thing you said was um you wanted a blog that was different from things that you had seen out there what are some features or components of your blog that makes it different from what you may have seen out there um well first like i said it's more in um story form because i'm a storyteller um, I do not sugarcoat <laughs> anything. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is one thing that is definitely different than most blogs that I come across. I'm pretty in your face and it's raw and uh, candid. Yeah, pretty, pretty raw and candid. And, um, I talk about, I talk about, uh, everything, a little mm -hmm. bit about everything. And that so, is one thing that I love as yeah. I'm reading it and, and I just feel like I'm getting to know you as I'm reading it and your family. Yes. And it, it again, you guys, you got to check it out. 
I'm very transparent. I try to be very transparent and um, um, very relatable. Uh, and I didn't know this at first, but um, as I started releasing more blogs, people were like, oh my gosh, I could so relate. I'm like, my life is relate. This is this is awesome. And so it's it's great. Yes. So you guys, we get to go on vacation with the True Fund. We get to uh, you know see some of the things, your fashion, uh, think your makeup. Oh my gosh, it's so fabulous. One thing you always joke about is being extra, and I love it. Can you tell us maybe who inspired your fashion and, and you know, who you pull inspiration from for your looks? Um, I pull a little bit from everywhere. Um, Instagram, uh, pop culture, anything. Anything that I, I'm kind of like, if I like it, I'm going to take it, adopt it, spin it, make mm -hmm. it my own. So just a little bit of everything from everywhere and everyone everybody is so influential and has such great style these days that i just take a little piece and make it my own so awesome. I'm can you think of anyone this might be hard but off the top of your head think of anyone in particular who you think is just you know fashionable well right now on instagram i am following somebody local and um, her name is Megan Little. And um, I pull a lot from her fashion because it's just really cute. It's simple and I know I'm extra, but you know, sometimes I like the simple stuff. And um, her style is really cute. And let me see who else is, uh, do I pull style from? Um, I don't know, there's a lot of other people out there. But well, that's- Megan Little. So it's nice to support. Um, you know, fellow bloggers and fashionistas and yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So listening to, you know, what made you start your blog and who you pull inspiration from and, you know, us just knowing that you are a fabulous mom of five and uh, doing things in your own right. Tell us a little bit how, about how you juggle it all. You know, having five children, kudos to you. Because, I mean, I know there's a lot of moving pieces going on over there. You know, it is a lot to juggle. And I am still trying to find out how to <laughs> essentially juggle five balls. <laughs> because it's, it's a lot. But I am not alone. Mm -hmm. I have a small army behind me. Um, my husband is so supportive and helps me out. My mother um, I have a wonderful nanny that I love that helps me, but it is definitely a challenge and a balancing act daily. And sometimes I don't know whether I'm coming or going as a mother, but I just am incredibly blessed. And I just try my hardest to just, you know, kind of be all things and be the, the mom and the wife and just keep everything in order, but it is most certainly a job. It's a job. <laughs> so for you guys that are watching five little people, five little people, different yeah. personalities, yeah. you know, no day is the same. And yeah. for you guys that are watching, Jessica is the wife of Marcus Trufant, veteran, cornerback, uh, all pro, did some amazing things. And here she is. Uh, you know, making all the pieces just work. And, and sometimes when you think about motherhood and marriage and, you know, how to juggle it all, is there ever a time that you just have to step, step back and, and say to yourself, maybe some affirmations or, you know, say to yourself, I can do this. And if there is something that you say to yourself, what would that be during those times where you feel like, Oh my God, I just want to, lay down or for some of us have a drink of wine yeah yeah um i have those moments probably oh i don't know every five minutes and um i really do have to take a step back and like literally like step outside of myself and say things like that like you can do this you've got this um your kids are happy your kids are healthy you're happy you're healthy you're blessed keep going keep like keep 
going, keep yes. the types of things I tell myself on a daily basis. Don't stop. Don't, you can't stop. Can't you got stop. little people watching. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So it's can't stop, won't stop. Keep going. Can't stop, won't stop. So for you guys that are watching and have joined this Facebook live uh, here with this mompreneur, this, this uh, blogger who's doing great things, raising these five babies, you know, can't stop, won't stop is a motto that we're yep. saying to ourselves when you're feeling like you're down and out and can't do it and just want to throw in a towel. Oh my goodness, because it's not always easy, right? Can't stop, won't stop is what we're saying. Yes. So Jessica, I wanted to ask you, you know, there was an instance on your blog where you were talking about, you know, we know that we can't stop, won't stop and, and we want to be valued, you know, as we're making all these moving pieces work yep. on the blog you gave an example of a time that you were out with your husband and you got approached by someone and they were really ignoring you yes uh can you tell us a little bit about what that experience was like for our viewers because when we're going through this life and really wanting to be valued and and made to feel like all of our contributions matter i want you to share what that experience was like for you for those of us that saw the vlog and felt like, oh my gosh, this yeah. girl is saying something. Yeah, um, I've had so many instances where this has happened, but there was one specific one where um, we were in a pretty, a pretty low key place. There wasn't a whole bunch of people. I, once again, I'm gonna leave the place and the name and all that out. And um, my husband was there to see somebody and, um, he was introduced to a guy and the guy and then Marcus introduced me and he's like, Hey, looks me in my eyes, shakes my hand. Nice to meet you. Then the guy, another person walks up, he introduces Marcus and then he introduces me as like Rebecca or something. And I'm like, Oh, okay. I'm going to let it slide. I'm like, Oh no, no, it's Jessica. It's cool. Whatever. So then he introduces another person and calls me another random name. And I'm like, this cannot be happening right now. Like I am standing right here. I am talking to this guy, but fully like just engaged with my husband, not me, but my husband. So then when it happened the third time and he was finally like, I just, I just can't remember your name. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where say my name, say my name, the title came from. And, you know, at this point, I was, I was pretty mad. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I was like, wow, this is like blatant, like disregard, disrespect, all of it. And um, I was like, well, I guess I'll be Rebecca for the day. You know, you got to kind of spin things and you can't just walk around, especially when you're feeling irrelevant and, um, you know, non-existent, you can't lash out and lose your cool and be disrespectful back. Mm -hmm. So I kind of made a joke out of it and um, everybody laughed and he felt really uncomfortable and he apologized, but I'm not even sure if he really cared because he went right back to my husband. So that's just one of the main <laughs> examples. Seriously. It was like, I might as well have sat in the car. Um, wow. and so one of the many examples of why I was inspired to write that blog and kind of bring this issue to the forefront and yeah. yeah. So, and, and just reading your blog and, 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 uh, you know, just, I put myself in your shoes and, and many times I have experienced similar situations being out with my husband and, and really it's, Hey, can you take this picture of us instead of, Hey, how are you? You know? And, and just, I was like, wow, she just captured it so perfectly the reality of what you know so many of us go through standing beside someone who is a celebrity in a sense right. so for those of you guys that are watching that are fans that you know love sports if you come across somebody and they have their significant other beside them at least show them some respect we are people too we matter we want to know that you know you just take a moment and hear our name and, yeah. and don't make up a random name as you are uh, addressing us. Yes. Utter disrespect. Utter. It's happened to me on the radio too. My goodness. Yeah. So 
you know, I wanted to really hear from you because just watching, I've been following and, and, and just, you know, so impressed by everything that I have seen, you know, from you and just, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would just love to have her come on and talk to us and, you know, make us laugh. And you've done that and inspire us in some way, knowing that we can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. Prior to having five kids, you have four girls and a boy. Yeah. So you guys went for one more. No, we didn't go for one more, but okay. one more happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. It was the best surprise, the biggest blessing. Oh my gosh. I had four daughters and I was just used to the girl life. And mm -hmm. when I found out I was pregnant with a boy, I'm like, what am I going to do with a boy? Their clothes are so ugly. <laughs> I know that's so shallow, but I was, that was you know, kind of from this extra who's fabulous and everything right. like, feminine. How is my son gonna be extra too? <laughs> but oh, I am in love. That oh. is my little heart, baby and boy. Voice fashion, so much of it. Good um, so, yeah, simply, uh, gosh, that's my guy. So prior to you having five babies, for you guys that are watching, four girls and a boy, and and married and. What were, what did you see yourself doing? You know, did you always see yourself being married and having children or, you know, what did you envision your life being like? Um, I always envisioned myself being married and having kids, not necessarily five, mm -hmm. but definitely having kids. And I did not envision being a stay at home mom, a blogger, none of the above. Um, I think I don't, you know, I was so young. <laughs> I don't even know what I thought I was about to be doing. Mm -hmm. I wanted at one point to be like a news anchor and, you know, I wanted to be on TV and talk and I can see that and run my mouth and do all that. <laughs> kind of stuff. And I thought that was going to be via news anchor, mm -hmm. but I had no idea my platform to share my voice was going to be through blogging. So, and sharing um, it, you're doing either way. And so, yeah, I, I just, I didn't really know exactly what direction I was going to go, but I knew I wasn't going to be doing something simple. Mm -hmm. I was going to be doing some big wild. things. Here I am. Here mm -hmm. I am. Yes. And you know, when I, I, I heard you guys, we talked prior to this. Um, Facebook Live and Jessica talked about just how, you know, when, when God has a plan for you. And although we don't always know, you know, or, or sometimes some of us have it, you know, we're in our minds, we have it all figured out what we're going to do, but not many of us do. And you always end up where you're supposed to be. And yeah. at, the, at that time, you know, making the most of where you are and being grateful for that. And, and where Jessica is, is amazing. Five kids, a husband. And one thing you said that was pretty funny for the ladies out there who are single, uh, Jessica and her husband met for the first time at the club. And so we joke, you know, you can find love in the club, but you know, as you're, you know, looking and dating and for some praying for the right person, just know that Get out, have some fun, enjoy life. Enjoy life because your steps are already ordered. So all you have to do is follow. Yeah. So yes. Get and that out. was just listening to you just made me feel like, oh my gosh, I know at times I might feel like, what am I doing? Or why am I here? You might be in a holding pattern or just a, a period of waiting. And because um, you mentioned there was a, a time where you and, and Marcus hadn't spoken and you're like, wait a minute, where mm -hmm. is he? You know, so she met him. Just I want to give you guys a quick recap. She met him, was introduced um, by a mutual friend mm -hmm. uh, and was really, you know, not sure if he was the one as he was pursuing her. So, you know, some time had passed and they hadn't spoken and they then reconnected and, and have been together ever since. And, you know, it, it, for some, it may be a relationship. For others, it may be business. You know, for others, you, you might be looking to move or relocate and you're just unsure. And, and as women, as mothers, as wives, as uh, business owners, we all sometimes get to that point where we're like, what is going on, you know? Right. And 
throughout that, know that your steps are ordered. You are right where you are supposed to be and, and just have a spirit of gratitude. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I know, especially for me, I want to control every aspect and micromanage every event that happens in my life, but I'm still working on it, on mm -hmm. letting go and, you know, letting God really. Mm -hmm. um, and so just let go, be patient, have patience, and okay. it'll just all come to you at the right yeah. time w when it's supposed to happen. And that is so hard, you know, especially for those of us that may be that type A personality, that type that, you know, wants to have your hand on everything so you can micromanage and be in control, if you will. But yes, sometimes you just got to let go. So that is another message from the can't stop, won't stop when you want to throw in the tile to, you know, wanting to be respected when you're out with your significant other, you know, in this partnership that you're in. And yep. then, you know, saying to you guys now, one thing that I'm even, you know, having to experience, let go. Yeah, let go. Let's go. Yeah. And as far as being respected and acknowledged when I'm out with my husband, I know that everybody's not there to see me <laughs> and want to talk to me. And all her fabulousness. All my fabulousness. <laughs> I know, I know my extra doesn't necessarily trump his extra, <laughs> but um, he's not even extra. We're so, we're polar opposite. That's why we work opposite. You're straight. so complimentary. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, yes. Um, and so just, just do the respectful thing and just common courtesy and just acknowledge. Acknowledge. Yes, because everybody wants to be acknowledged. At some point, you want to feel like you matter, even though you may not be the, the headliner for the yes. evening. Yes. But, you know, you, you matter. And all of us, you know, want to be acknowledged, want to know that we matter. And, and the littlest thing, that little gesture, that little act of kindness, yes. um, you know, goes a long way. It and goes. you want to leave knowing that, you know, wow, that person made me feel good. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Acknowledge me. Have a little bit of respect. Say, hey, act like you're interested. Know your mama five. That's great. You can move right on and <laughs> talk to you Marcus. You need to take the camera and snap, and snap the picture. Right. You know, that makes me, you know, that makes me want to take the picture when you acknowledge me first. But when you walk up to me and go, here, no, that makes <laughs> not want to take a picture for you okay yes can totally relate so say my name uh here we are for those guys that are just joining us on facebook live with miss jessica trufant she is a mother of five the wife of uh, marcus trufant who is a veteran all pro cornerback played in the league uh formerly of the seattle seahawks and she's joined us you know we have talked everything from motherhood to um, just managing the household and, and, and just being able to do it with some help and how more efficiently that runs. And we talked about, um, you know, her blog. You guys got to check out fab5mom.com. Uh, yeah. She's sharing some amazing stories. It's hilarious and fabulous. And, you know, I mean, come on, look at her. And, you know, Outside of that, what are things that you can say to yourself? If you don't have a personal affirmation or something that you say to help you get through your day, because it's not always going to be easy, find out, figure out what that is. If it's, you know, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, or, you know, um, I'm possible, or can't stop, won't stop happens to be, you know, what Jessica says. And Figure out what that thing is for you to say to yourself to keep it moving. Keep it moving. I got things to do. The sun is always going to rise. So the cream always rises to the top. Yeah. Whatever it might be, figure that thing out and, and, and inspire yourself sometimes because that's what we have to do. Yep. So I'm so happy that you joined us on our set Real Talk Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Oh, it was an honor. And again, you guys check out her blog and, and we'll be interacting with you as you are, you know, sending us your comments and questions and 
so happy to have her. And this is Danny Sharol, and I'm set. And this is Jessica Trufant, and I'm set. All right. You guys have a great remainder of your Tuesday. Good night. Thank you. All right. Cool. So how you feel? <laughs>